everyone. We're going to divide polynomials and simplify them. So these are the two examples we have. All right, for the first one, what I'm going to do is I'm using long division here, and I'm going to write my divisor down, which is x minus 1, and I'm dividing at x to the fifth minus 1. Now what I'm going to use is placeholders. So I'm going to write x to the fifth plus 0x to the fourth plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 1. Because when you subtract or add like terms, you need to, uh, you have to have the same terms. And we'll see this in a minute. And the first step you do is you're going to say, what times x gives me x to the fifth? And that's going to be x to the fourth. I like to keep everything in order here, so I'll put it right there. And you take x to the fourth times x uh, minus 1. When you distribute, what you're going to get is x to the fifth minus x to the fourth. And then we subtract. Just like we subtract here, you subtract. I put this in parentheses because I know I'm subtracting both terms. So we did uh, x to the fifth divided by x to the fifth is 0. 0 minus a negative. When you hear minus a negative, that means add. So this is going to be x to the fourth. Now the next one. Uh, what you're going to do first is bring down your next term. So that's going to be plus 0x cubed. All right. What times x gives me x to the fourth? So we're trying to get rid of the first term. So that's going to be x cubed. Then you multiply. That's going to give you x to, uh, to the fourth minus x cubed. Then you subtract. When you subtract, you're going to get, uh, this cancels out. You're going to get x cubed. Then bring down the next term. And you keep proceeding on. What times x gives you, and we're looking at this, x cubed, so that's going to be x squared. Now you see why we have the placeholders, because you're going to have to have something to subtract from. So this is going to be x cubed minus x squared. Subtract, you get x squared. Bring down the 0x. Multiply this by x, and you're going to get x squared minus x. Subtract, and that's going to give you um, x. Bring down the negative 1, and then multiply. Uh, we're just going to multiply this by 1. 1 times x minus 1 is x minus 1. When you subtract, you get 0. That means our remainder is 0. And all this whole thing means is that when you multiply x minus 1 times x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1, that gives us our dividend of um, x to the fifth minus 1. So this equals x to the fifth minus 1. Now for the next one, we do the same thing. Uh, we don't have to do placeholders on this one. So let's see what happens. We have p plus 1, and we're dividing p cubed minus p squared minus p minus 1. All right. So um, the first is going to be p squared, and p squared times p plus 1. That gives me p cubed plus p squared. All right, when you subtract, you're going to get um, these cancel, and you're going to have negative p squared minus a positive p squared. So this is going to be adding um, or subtracting. So you get negative 2p squared. Now, the next one is what times p gives me negative 2p squared. That's going to be minus 2p. So multiply uh, minus uh, or negative 2p 
times p plus 1. That's going to oh, bring down the negative p. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, when you bring uh, multiply that, you get negative 2p squared minus 2p. All right. Add this or subtract. These cancel. And when you hear yourself say negative p minus a negative, so negative p minus a negative 2p. Minus a negative is positive. So that's going to give you a positive p. Bring down the negative 1. Now we're going to uh, say what times p gives me p, and that's going to be plus 1. So uh, multiply, you get p plus 1. And then we're going to subtract. When we subtract, we get negative 1 minus a positive 1. So that's going to be negative 2. Therefore, our remainder equals negative 2. And this means that, uh, let me do that. Uh, this means that p plus 1 times p uh, squared minus 2p plus 1, that's our quotient, minus your remainder, in our case it's plus your remainder, but since our remainder is negative, this here equals our dividend of p cubed minus p squared minus p minus 1. Just like for this one, I could say 5 times 5 plus your remainder gives you your dividend of 27. I'm going to do that. You can. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.